stormed the castle, fought the dragon, but didn't get the girl. This is the game where you guess the not-so-happy ending. That's right, not-so-happy ending. The only game where, you know, you end depressed and not, not happy. Not happy at all. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it happens in Joe's everyday life. Yay! <laughs> He's right. used to it at this point. So let's open the book to the first story. All right. So, in this magical story, uh, a, ma a teacher in Chesterfield County, Virginia, is uh, was hanging out with his, they wanted to make this clear in the article, or sorry, story, <coughs> platonic friend. Oh. So, okay. they, uh, she had invited him along a trip, and for for some reason, because the, the reason had then disappeared, because she uninvited him. Mm-hmm. No, no harmful reason. Just saying, hey, um, I don't need you to come along anymore, so you don't need to come. Uh, the man then asked for a hug as they were sitting in the car together conversing. Okay. Okay, and then what happened? Um, I'm going to say... Oh, well, I... <laughs> you had, it sounded like you were going to continue. Are, are you not going to continue? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, as I thought, um, I'm going to say that she said no. He got angry and attacked her. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say almost similar, but he went out for the hug. She got creeped out, kicked him in in the goods, in the man. In, in the, in the in, lower in the regions. Beans. Yeah. While they were in the car? Yeah, they're in a car. Oh, they're in a car for they're, the hug? They're in a car. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say <laughs> then She's that She's pretty she, flexible. She, she punched him. In the in the man beans. Okay. In Either the, way, his man beans, beans are getting getting hurt. Gotcha. All right. Okay. All right. Is that is that your stories? That is yes. that is our versions. Yes. Okay. So what actually happened was she agreed to the hug. Oh. And as they embraced for this warm hug of of joy and plut plutonicness, he pulled out a pair of scissors and cut off a piece of her hair and ran off. Well, that where did she nice. meet this guy? <laughs> they were friends. Uh, he was, and he's a. Uh, by the way, he's the PE teacher at the middle school. Yeah, if you guys were wondering. What? Wow. So this guy is a teacher of middle school children, and he's cutting off hair of women and running away. All right. Well, it's time to rethink all of our teachers that we've ever <laughs> yeah, had. Yeah, seriously. That's really creepy. That's yes. incredibly creepy. There's nothing... Why is it always the PE teachers? I don't know. I don't know. Like, <laughs> legitimately, <laughs> it's always the PE teachers. There is something <laughs> about, like, guys who just don't do a actual exercise. They just run <laughs> laps all day. You know those people that you can just stop by the side of the road and pick up for work and they'll do your gardening and things like that. You think there's like PE teachers across the street where they just <laughs> school buses drive up like, hey, you we wanna, need a PE teacher we need for today. A PE teacher. I'll do it. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's what all of like my my substitute PE teachers were. Well I mean it just I don't it's know. It's creepy. That's creepy. There's nothing you can do with somebody else's hair that isn't creepy. There was the there was a big like uh student sex uh, scandal at, at my school my freshman year and it had to do with the PE teacher oh she was a, a she though the PE, the PE teacher, teacher was, was. A, a chick so that's kind of cool there was I one was, at my school but she was a math teacher really yeah yeah I, I just and then like I don't know something about the PE teachers at my sc school they just rubbed me the wrong way yeah yeah they did all right. I know that's, all right that's what all I'm right. saying for the next story um <clears throat> a woman was putting her groceries into her car after spending a ton of money and, and, and just, you know, it's, it's tough to do. It's a tough times. And it's a rough she, economy. It's a rough economy. And as she was loading these uh, items into her car, her, her family was sitting in the car and she's in the back loading all these things in. And then a mugger or purse snatcher runs up and takes her purse and a chase ensues. Okay. She begins to run after him. What happens? What's this not so happy ending? You want to go first, Joe, since I went first on the last one? Because I have <laughs> okay. an idea if you, if you don't. Um, I'm going to say that while the guy is running away and the, the woman's chasing her, he go, dips between cars and somebody doesn't see and opens up their door and she slams into it. Ooh. And the guy gets away with her purse. 
I'm going to say one of the, somebody who's in the car, whether it be a kid or her husband or whoever, gets, like, starts the car and runs the guy over. Okay. Nice. Yeah. All right. Are you, are you, are you, are you, <laughs> no, just the guy. Why do you want her to get hurt so bad? Yeah, I don't what want is her, her to get hurt. I'm just saying, she. you see it in movies all the time. The guy runs and steals a purse. This isn't a then, movie. I know, yeah, but that's what. This that, is a not so happy ending. Listen to me. That's what I'm saying. And <laughs> he always gets caught by some good citizen. In real life, I figure if something like that were to really happen, if I were to witness it, the guy would get away, and somehow the ch- the person that they stole from would also get trip, break their ankle, do something terrible, and they'd just be like, "My day just got really bad to even worse," you know, because that's how okay. I'm. I'm a very optimistic okay. person. All right, so the not-so-happy ending to this story. As she began to chase this man, uh, she caught up with him, but he turned and shoved her down onto the ground. Uh, two of the p- two people in the car with her, well, not with her, in the front of the car, got out and then chased him down and held him for the cops to then come, and she got her purse back, and the guy was caught. Jeez. Later that day, though, Uh-oh. she this gave goes birth bad. because she was nine months pregnant. Oh, my gosh. Oh. She got chased down and beat down by a nine-month pregnant lady? Wow. What a sissy. How did she catch him? I don't know. He must have had short legs. <laughs> Dude, if that, if that was like my mom and she was pregnant and the guy pushed my mom over who was that pregnant. You would have gone nuts. I would have went ballistic. I would have held him down for the cops. I would have like made him... Bite the curb, yeah, and take care of business myself. If, if I was him, I wouldn't tell people what I was in prison for. No, like you, all you would say is I mugged somebody. There, there's a picture. you don't tell them how you got caught. <laughs> there's a picture of the guy. His name's Mark Newton. Um, it's in Flint, Michigan. His face has like scabs all over it. Jeez, Flint, so, Michigan. Yeah, that was one of uh, on the top ten or uh, top hundred list at least of most dangerous cities. Oh, in the that US. makes sense. Uh, well, it looks like they took, kind of took care of business because this guy has like four big scabs on his face and his mug shot. So she knocked Good. him down. Well, no, his her kids caught up with him. Oh, right. Good. As they should. They should have beat his ass, I think, even more. Yep. So that was not so happy endings. Um, well, is it really a not so happy ending? I mean, the, the lady gave birth. I mean, Not so happy for that like, guy. She was a well, pregnant yeah. lady that got shoved on the ground. Right, but I mean, she gave birth. It didn't say anything that was wrong with the no. the baby so i mean it turned out all right in the end that guy had a bad day though oh yeah he deserved a bad day he deserved a lot worse of a day